Now, most people are fine with a nine to five job, but not you. You're hungry. You want something else in life. You want freedom. You want money. You want unimaginable amounts of wealth. But first, you need to learn how to get there. You can't just go from making a thousand dollars a month to becoming a millionaire. And in this video, I'm going to teach you a business model that I've tried, tested and succeeded at in the past year. That's helped me hit my first ever 10K a month. And I do believe if you follow the steps in this video, you can get there too. Can I guarantee that you'll be making 10K a month? No, because I want to be fully transparent with you. It is something that worked for me and it might not work for you, but I do believe if you follow the steps in this video, are committed, work hard and hustle, you can actually go from making zero to a few thousand dollars every month. Now, I've actually tried so many other business models and I've failed a lot of times. You know, I've made some money here and there, but none have been as consistently successful as this one. And I know it must be really tiring to like, you know, try business model after business model and not have it working. And also you, you kind of not having any luck in it. So if that has happened to you, I definitely hear you and I really hope that you can make money with this business model. My goal is for you to start becoming successful and making money. So what even is it? Well, it's a service-based business where you have a very valuable skill and you're selling that to clients, you know, businesses who are going to pay you for it. But it's more than that. It's not like a service-based business exactly how, how you know it, like how people in man talk about. It's not exactly that. Now, those people that I got nothing bad about, they are great at what they do. It's just this is actually a tiny bit different. It is a service, but eventually the long scope of it will allow you to scale it even bigger and make way more money than just being a service business. And I'll explain that around step three, but first we have to get to step one. And before that, we actually have to just quickly explain that you're going to be learning essentially a skill that is something very valuable in the industry you're in. So for example, for me, I want to be a YouTuber. I want to have YouTube channels. You know, a lot of people make money with YouTube channels. So I learned a very valuable skill where I was basically giving feedback on the data I was looking at from channels analytics. I was basically looking at their data and just telling them feedback about it. So for you, for example, it could be, imagine if long term you want to do something with script writing, it would be you learn a valuable skill that is in that. So it's essentially learning a minor valuable skill, not like the biggest thing, something you can kind of learn quickly and also provide value to the client. And that's exactly what this is. So it's not like entirely like a service business, however, and also talks about. So if you're in Amazon FBA, for example, one of your minor valuable skills that you could really learn would be product research, right? Because that is hugely valuable to anyone who does Amazon FBA or drop shipping and essentially what you do is you're gonna pick the industry you want to do okay I would just go where the money is in my opinion that's an advice I got from a billionaire be passionate about success if you're passionate about money then you can be passionate about anything I'll be passionate about any business on earth that pays me so yes that is it you want to learn a minor valuable skill in an industry you pick just choose the industry whether it's drop shipping marketing whether it's YouTube channels you want to pick a valuable minor skill in the industry you're actually going to go for so an in industry is for example like drop shipping a minor skill could be product research could be just being an assistant to him like he tells you like okay look at our competitors and see what type of courses they're selling you know I want to sell a drop shipping course and I want to be able to do that so it's kind of anything that you are able to provide value for essentially the leaders or the people who are making money in your space and you want to essentially do that you want to work for them so for me it was becoming a youtuber or have a youtube channel i want to work for youtubers i want to do job shipping i'm going to work for a job shipper if i want to do social media marketing and make so much money with that i want to learn off someone who's making so much money off it and this is the core principle of it okay choose your industry essentially it's what you want to do in the long term so job shipping and then you learn the minor valuable skill okay right now that is part of step one but the last thing in step one that we need to do is actually you want to learn it and become kind of good at it so you can actually provide value to people so say if it was drop shipping and you're doing you know research on google and you're searching up these things and before you even get a job you want to make sure that you actually you know kind of know what you're talking about so if these drop shippers want you know they really want someone who's you know constantly just product researching for hours upon a day you know if you're able to do that actually and provide value then that is when you can move to step two so become good at it be able to give value step two is cold you're going to be cold dming the people in your space so whether it's drop shipping youtube whatever it is you dm these people dm 100 to 200 of them usually on twitter that's where most of them are especially for business so you want to dm them and basically say look i'm gonna do some free work for you or just let me work for you for minimum wage because some people some people are smart and actually don't want to have you do free work because it's kind of like it's kind of useless to them even if you can try get a job with them for like minimum wage or even just tell them look let's test out this for a week and i just want to provide value to you i want to work for you with my minor skill because this is something not a lot of people do like a lot of job shippers they probably have to do all the product research themselves. I don't even think many people have 
this, you know, they have people do it for them. What if I told you that Mr. Beast, right? This is a secret I learned off someone. He actually has people like just search keywords constantly because he's trying to go viral, right? So I think when you can definitely use that mindset into drop shipping, you can definitely have, you know, a team of people researching products for you and kind of so you find those winning products. So that's essentially what you want to do. Step two is cold DM as many people as you can. When I first did this, because I did this, this is exactly how I did it. I cold DM about 100 to 200 YouTubers. You know, I want to do this minor thing for you and it can provide value. Just let me do it for free. Let me do it for my minimum wage. For me, that was like around $10 an hour. So whatever that is in your country, I would just work for that or work for free if they want to, you know, work for you. Because the, the goal here is to get clients and, you know, provide value. So then they will see, oh, wow, you know, this guy's actually, you know, knows what he's talking about. And that's what you want to do for now. And also as, as you get these clients, I would also be posting on Twitter. That's what you want to do. Part of step two, be posting on Twitter, just be posting your knowledge, whatever you know. If you don't have any results for any people at the moment, just post valuable content like facts or cool tips for people, cool advice, cool statistics. Just check out what goes viral on Twitter in your area and just copy kind of what they do, but obviously do it in a more unique way, essentially. That's what you want to do for step two. Call DM people, build a Twitter presence and get a job, right? You want to work for someone. Now, one thing, if you do want to make, you know, money like this is that you need to provide value, especially in a service-based business. You want to provide as much value as you can. And I don't care if you're working for free or for $10 an hour, work as hard as you can because you really want to show them like, look, this guy's like, you know, being paid for minimum wage or for free, but he's still working so hard and he's really providing value. I would kind of tell you to work for the clients, you know, for around a month, just work as hard as you can, provide so much value, try to get as many results as you can. And every time you learn something new, just post it on Twitter, you know, post what you know and post your knowledge because people actually like that and you can build an audience with that but we'll get to that later okay step three this is where the things start turning this is unlike all the other steps so pay very close attention but it's also going to be the very longest one is now once you've worked for them for kind of a month or two and you know you've provided value what you need to do is stop you need to now tell them look i provided value for you i want to keep working with your business i like you as a you know as a client i want to keep working with you so i'm going to charge now 20 dollars an hour right that's what i went to because like 20 dollars an hour that's like still like most people my age you know or whether you're working in a restaurant which i was or whether you're working in just an office job most of the pay is usually around 10 to 15 dollars an hour so i would really go for something like 20 to 30 dollars an hour depending on that space also if you have a, a client who is obviously making a bunch of money like youtubers in this space who are making hundreds of thousands every year or people on drop shipping who make probably you know a few hundred thousand every month you could definitely get a job with 20 to 30 dollars an hour if you're providing value remember which if you've passed step two you are right so step three is essentially you want to start pitching to them that you want to work for them and tell them, look, I just provided value for you. I want to now work for you for about $20 an hour, 20 to 30, something like that. And just like, great, if they can give you 20 hours of work, that's $400 a week. And that's already an upgrade, right? You went from making zero a week to 400 now. Okay. You just learned how to make money, right? Keep posting to Twitter anything you learn and you basically now that you have clients who are paying, which hopefully they accepted. For me, if I'm being quite frank with you, when I told them that, look, I'm charging $10 an hour and then wanted to really continue like the step three, what I said is, look, I'm going to charge now $20 an hour. And most of them said yes. And I think one or two, I think it was one that said no. And we just kind of continued that $10 because at the time I wasn't really sure what I was doing. And I was just happy with the money. Now, hopefully on your end though, if you're providing value, you should definitely be able to get to $20 an hour. And I was providing value. It was working hard doing as much as I could. That's why I actually believe that most of the clients were fine with the $20 an hour. But this is where it gets long. You're gonna now do this for a few months, few months, you wanna even provide more value to them, work harder and harder and harder. You wanna basically be making hundreds of dollars every single month from this. If you're able to already get to a thousand dollars a month with a few clients, that's actually kind of ideal and awesome. But essentially what you're doing now is it's going to take a while now. You're going to do this for a few months, just working for them, try to get at least two to three clients who total will get you to around one to three K per month. That's kind of what I was doing. I was working probably like 40 to, I think def definitely over 40 hours a week also within other projects I was doing, but like just with the clients alone, it was definitely over 40. And I was just obviously making, making a bunch of money for the first time in my life. Life, which was awesome because I originally was working as a waiter and then from that going to making like almost double what I was making as a waiter and just from my laptop it's insane to me so it should be working the same for you if you know you're providing value you're also in a profitable niche where people are making a bunch of money because if you're in a niche or in an industry where not too many people have a lot of money then it could kind of be hard to pitch $20 an hour for them to pay you hundreds of a month but like if these people are making a bunch of money you know hundreds of dollars a month could be like 1% of their total revenue that month so it's not that big of a 
ideal for them. And that's what you want to be. You want it to be a, a really low cost for them, but still provide huge value. That's the goal. Now, after two to three months of doing this, you should also have some results of your own with your own clients. I'd really tell you to post those on Twitter and really, you know, make sure that when you post those, they're really good, like, you know, packaged, good writing, good words on it, that you can really, you know, make that post go viral. So people can see, like, look, this guy is providing a lot of value. He's getting results for his clients. They might want to hire you. Now, when I was able to do this, I think I, then I began a Twitter strategy. And essentially what I want you to do right now is you start posting a thread every single day on Twitter. Just, you know, whether it's facts, results you've gotten, just cool value that, you know, people can really dig. And essentially, again, same format. You want to look at threads that have gone viral, use their format and do the same for you. And this is also part of step three. Make sure to post a thread every single day for the next few months. And you should at this time then be able to grow hundreds to thousands of followers. I was able to probably go from a few hundred followers to I think about 2K, which is doing this within like three months, which is awesome because in the community, 2000 followers is actually quite a lot. So I was able to definitely make a dent in, in that niche. Now, one other thing that not a lot of people talk about is actually replying to people on Twitter. This is also part of your Twitter strategy that I want you to do is leaders in the space, anyone who's getting their clients results, you know, you know, people similar to you or other people in your space who are leaders, you want to be replying to their posts as much as possible. I made a habit actually to reply to like three people every single day and that actually kind of built word of mouth and they were seeing, oh, this guy's cool, like he's commenting on my post and all that. It's just, it's kind of good in my opinion, good branding. So I would just encourage you to do that also. Now in step four, you'll actually able to use your Twitter presence to build another side income, which I'll get to, right? But step three is still on and we need to finish it. You know, you keep working, you keep focusing on clients, really providing them value, getting them good results. You also keep learning, you're, you're gonna keep learning, keep studying your space, whatever you're doing. Just keep providing real value. Also, if you have clients, then usually what I did was I had these YouTubers, you know, and we'd also go on calls sometimes a lot of times and I'd also have their phone number so I could kind of text them and stuff like, oh, what do you think of this or stuff like that. And this is key, which is also part of step three. You wanna get to know the clients you know, so when they talk to you, it kind of rubs off on you. And this is really crucial now. You can, you can talk with them for one hour and that's it. And like, obviously you'll be knowledgeable and it'll be very valuable. But can you imagine if you do that every single week you talk to them, it'll rub off on you. Because the end goal here is you want to become as smart as they are and be able to then replicate their success. And basically this is really crucial. Talk with your client, get to know them, you know, have their mindset ingrained in you so you really understand how their brain works and how they succeed. Because remember what this guy said. One of the things that's amazing to me, I said this the other day, Everybody understands that you're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Everybody understands that. Campaign. Everybody understands that. For whatever reason, your clients just don't want to talk or you're not able to talk with them because they're so busy or something like that. As you build a presence on Twitter, you should obviously have like-minded people follow you and you can actually network with them and I would really reach out. That's what I did. Or people reached out to me and we started talking with just other people who are in the space who have their own kind of thing going on. And I would really encourage you to network with them and learn. I don't care if, you, if how smart you think you are or how big your ego is, because this was something I thought, I thought I was like, oh, I know all about you but then when I actually sat down or talked with someone that has a really successful channel, I knew that my learning was here and they were all the way here. It's just, you need to talk with people in the space who are also being successful, make sure that they are successful. Otherwise you might just, you know, talk with people who don't know what they're talking about. And again, this is really key to be able to talk with people in your space. Cause you just like, it rubs off on you, you know? So you're able to do this for a few months. You're able to build a business now where you actually get consistent clients every single month. You should be around one to $3,000 per month. Now we get to step four. Now look at what you've done. In the past few months, you've learned a valuable skill. You've built a Twitter presence. You've built a business now where you have clients and are paying you every single month. You went from making zero dollars from your laptop sitting and watching Netflix to now making a few hundred, even a thousand, hopefully every single month. But don't give yourself a pat on the back. You need to keep reaching for more because this is only the beginning. I want to become a millionaire. So do you, I believe. And you know, making a few thousand is nothing compared to making a million a year. Without commitment, you'll never start. But without consistency, you will never finish. So we need to be consistent if we want to get to that 10K a month level and also then 100K a month, a million a month, right? For me, I had a daily to-do list that just said, okay, post on Twitter, you know, reply to people, do this, right? So this is how I was able to stay consistent and also just kind of really just putting in my head I need discipline and I need to be consistent this is just how I was so I don't know why it could be for you if it's having a quote on the wall or whatever it is but I would highly encourage you to just cut out all social media because it will really just unmotivate you being on your screens basically lowers your dopamine levels and this is something like that you cannot do if you really want to be successful in my opinion because it'll always hinder your back and it, it will never get you to your true potential but that's just what I did all right so now in step four it's time to make more money 
So this is where you're gonna change your business again. You're gonna tell clients now, look, we've provided a lot of value for your brand in the past few months. You know, I worked with you from this month to this month. I provided you a lot of value. I gave you so many results. I've also made you, you know, probably even more money. I uh, money charging around $20 an hour. Now what we're gonna do client is we're gonna do this. We're changing our business where basically we charge a monthly retainer. So for me, it was from charging $20 every single hour and we just have to calculate every single week or every month how many hours we did. We just tell them now, look, we are gonna give you a retainer where it's basically it makes sure that you, you know you're locked in with us I will, I will tell no to other clients to, so I can always put attention on you and that's a monthly retainer and what I charged it was around 1.5 to 2.5 K around that mark that's what I did because the people in my space were able to do that and this is actually where if you have kind of you know clients who are not making too much money it'll probably be hard to get them to accept to this but this is key really because you want a retainer so you don't have to work now every single hour to make money you basically tell them I'm gonna provide value to you the same every month if not more but the hours aren't going to be like look it's like one week if we're busy could be 20 hours the next week could be five the next week could be 15. the monthly retainer is not tied to the hours work you can you may tell them look i'll do minimum 10 hours every single week but like one week you might have to do 20 and the other week might only have to be 10. essentially it's a monthly retainer that you want to really be charging them now if they're making upon thousands and thousands of hundreds of thousands every single month which my clients were they were able to pay around 1.5 thousand per month for my services what I would do, no matter the niche, I would definitely charge a minimum of a thousand dollars. Also, depending, you know, how long your work actually takes. Because if you're able to do your work relatively quickly and provide a lot of value, then if you have say five clients paying a thousand a month, that's already five thousand. So just look at what you did. You you went from knowing how to make twenty dollars in an hour to now you know how to make one thousand dollars in a month. And this is all within six months. If you're able to do this, this is how you kind of build wealth. You get to step one, which is you know making a few hundred dollars. You get to step two, making a few thousand. You get to step three, and so on. There's no point of just thinking, oh, I can become a millionaire. Because I used to think that. And I was like, I just become a millionaire and that's it, no plan. But no, my plan is to first be able to get consistent at 10K, then 20K, then 30K, 50K. You know what I mean? This is crucial in my opinion. Okay, now once you've done this, after a few days, what I would do is as you also keep posting on Twitter, I would build now a Calendly link. It's like a service or anything where you can basically have people book in a call with you for like an hour and you're, they're able to pay. That's what I would do and that's what I did. Put a link in your bio and then you tell people that, you know, at the end of every thread now, you kind of tell them, look, if you want to work together and get results like I've gotten, you know, book in a call for me. And like, this is the side income that we talked about, remember for step four. And this has made me hundreds of dollars every single month, just off the side from people booking my calls. And I noticed that every time I post more results on Twitter, I get more clients. So results is a huge, huge thing. You can be posting threads, but make sure if they're results, people really want to, you know, get that and want you to be able to replicate that. So this is why posting results is even more profitable. Now, how much do you pay at the beginning? beginning I was charging around $100 for a one hour call. Now I charge between $150 to $300 per hour. So for you in your space, I would definitely be doing something minimum $100 an hour and probably go up to maybe $200 an hour. And as you continue doing this, you're basically, you know, you're also, you keep posting on Twitter, you get maybe a few calls here and then, you make a few extra hundred dollars every single month, and you're also making at least a thousand dollars from every client, and you're providing them value, getting them results. I keep repeating this value, you need to provide value. You, you also must work hard, so you're able to be consistent with them. This is when I kind of realized that, okay, wow, for me to make more money, I kind of, you know, really also need to provide way more value to charge more for the retainers, or I can also, you know, the other side of it is also, I can have way more clients, but it's still like there's not enough time in the day kind of thing so it's kind of difficult to, to figure out at the moment i have also upgraded my retainers to charge a lot more because i've also you know learned a lot in the past few months so that's just kind of me telling you what i'm doing now in the meantime you want to do something that is kind of you know could be looked at as bad but no it's not really bad you're going to start looking at your new side income which you're going to develop over the next few months so what it was for me was essentially it's basically it's doing the thing that you want to become right so remember i wanted to do youtube so then I eventually started planning for it, having a faceless YouTube channel, which is basically where you outsource the script writer, voiceover editor and all that. And I'm just kind of in charge of the strategy, right? So that's essentially what you're you're planning for now. And you're gonna have that as your kind of third source of income. We have the first one, which is, you know, the clients. We have the second one, which is now the booking a call. And now we have the third one, which is actually gonna be doing essentially what you wanna be doing, right? So for me, it was YouTube channel. I did, I started planning and researching on a YouTube channel to do. For you, if it's dropshipping, it would be essentially finding a winning product 
product and try to sell it and you know make money with that because remember you've now spent months making thousands of dollars providing a bunch of value to clients that you should be able actually to replicate some of the success and obviously you're kind of posting some results on twitter i hope so you should definitely be able to replicate it and there's no reason why not you test it out now on your own thing and kind of you know make even more money and this is how i was actually able to get the 10k a month now you do this as you're also continuing the client work you keep posting on twitter you keep doing those calls you want to keep doing this you want to be able to maintain this and this is kind of where it can be hard because if you're working like say 70 hour work weeks it might be very hard for you to do this at the side but this is where i actually finally said no i need to stop focusing with some clients i need to maybe drop down to making you know maybe one to two k less a month just so i can put some time into this because ultimately this will make me more money okay so this is also key you might have to say no to some clients or drop one client or two clients depending on how much you have so you can free up more time and you're able to do this and this is really crucial because this is not going to make you money straight away it's something that you're going to test and it might make you money after a trial and error but you need to test it because this is essentially how you're going to get to the next level right and this is what you want remember at the very start you picked an industry that you ultimately want to do so if you want to become a dropshipper and become successful at it you've now spent months learning with one who is successful and now you're going to test it right but you're still making money because at the end of the day if this fails for example you're going to try again but even if it fails you make zero money right but you still have the other clients in the twitter to make you more money so you're still able to maintain and obviously live now i spent a few weeks and almost one to two months just really researching and planning what i was going to do with planning videos getting a script writing getting a voiceover kind of you know making sure i have enough money to pull this off and then i you know started the channel posted a few videos on it and after one to two months they actually blew up and started making money so i was able to actually get results for my own thing so if you want to get to step five you need to actually be able to get results once you get results for whatever it is you're trying then you can move to step five so for drop shipping if you test selling a product and you become successful at it cool we can go to step five if not you keep repeating it until you are successful now I did lie because after step five there is actually one final step and this is how you'll be able to get to six figures a year and make 10k consistently and also scale probably to half a million to a million a year but more on that after step five okay so step five is now stopping Twitter and focusing really more on clients and on your own you know ventures whether for me it was a YouTube channel for you it's drop shipping products what you want to do is just put less time on Twitter that's what I I did sort of focusing more on clients I was able to put more hours more hours on clients and really also kind of drop a few clients and provide more value and hence you could probably charge more now for a retainer but you really want to be able to basically provide value and even more value than you ever done before and what this is called usually it's doubling down and just provide more value to them so then you're also able to learn more and just you know you can provide better results now it might be hard because you might be getting a few thousand followers every single month on Twitter and you like that for your ego but if that's taking a lot of time out of your day then I would really cut it out also with clients you might like the fact that you're able to make say six to seven K every single month with these all these clients but if you're unable to sustain the other thing which is you know trying to do your own venture and it, you're still making that money and you don't want to drop down to say 5k a month because oh then it's, uh, it's like less money you need to think of the long-term game it was for me it was like okay i'm gonna drop clients but in the long in the long term i'll be making more money even if it's not for a few months you need to get that mindset that okay you're gonna drop down make a bit less money for now but in, in the long term as you build this other venture it, it can make you even more money so this is essentially when you are successful whatever you did it might take you a while but for me i think it was the second month of the channel really popping off that combined with my other clients was able to make me 10k a month so this is actually how you get to 10k a month is you provide value for your clients you get them to pay you a few thousand dollars every single month in total you also build a twitter presence which can make you a few hundred dollars every single month in my opinion depending on how viral you get but essentially you know you have clients that in total are paying you between five to eight k per month that was kind of how it was for me and then in total when you have this other venture which you tested out that combined with the clients you got that will in total make you 10k a month and this is how you get to 10k a month Huh? you just went from making zero to now 10k a month this is how it worked for me again i do believe though you can definitely make a few thousand dollars with this business model now was i able to sustain it yeah in the next month i made even more money and then what i basically did is i started charging even more for retainers because now you've actually been able to provide results on your own venture now i was actually able to make a lot more money with less clients than like in the past where i had to make all that sum of money for example with like way more clients and that's the goal that you want to be able to do is have you know not too many clients to 
still make a, a killing of the money and also have your other venture which you're really focusing on the only two things to focus on now is clients and your venture and now that this venture has actually made you some money for me the youtube channel it was that you know i invested around a thousand dollars in it which is maybe sounds like a lot but now the channel has actually made me i think over like maybe thirteen thousand dollars so now once you have kind of the money from your venture for for job shipping whether you make 10k 5k whatever it is you now have capital money to invest into it and this is what i did i you know then got a better editor got a better team around to really help me with the channel and then they can scale even more and bigger and better and more money now step six is actually how in my opinion you can scale this to a bit more also using the clients because in the long term game you could maybe only want to do the drop shipping but for me i'm still working with clients because i still enjoy it a lot and i still want to be able to work with clients it's like you know you're obviously always learning and it's also something i really want to do while having a youtube channel and as you can see this is like part of the plan i'm literally talking what i preach this is another youtube channel i've started so this is also just another avenue for me to make even more money but now what i would do and this is actually something i've started doing you try to outsource a lot of the work for the client stuff so for me a lot of it was working with youtube channels a lot of it is research and essentially what you want to try find is people who can do your work but cheaper and this is where places like upwork or fiverr can actually come in handy now what i did essentially was i ha i hired someone from a really cheap country and i basically outsourced them to help me with a lot of the tasks and then what i was able to do i also told the guy because he was kind of in a really bad position i told him look keep working with me i'm gonna you know all my knowledge is also gonna rub off on you so i want to make sure that at the end of the year you're able to make a full-time income from this and this is also something cool because i don't want to just hire these people for cheap and you know get away with it i feel that's kind of bad so at the same time i'm providing value for them so then they can also become an expert in this space and then they can you know make more money so the outsourcing cheap is something temporary for me while i figure other stuff out other stuff that you can also use is software and this is obviously stuff like product research and drop shipping if you are able to build a software that instead of you spending 10 hours a day researching and that software is able to spend say an hour a day that will save up so much time essentially it's outsourcing or finding creative ways to you know so you can work less but still provide the same value so then you can put all your more attention onto the youtube channel or the drop shipping product now 10k a month is actually just this like it's this small these are hundred dollar bills so it doesn't even seem that that big now my goals are obviously to maintain this consistency of hitting 10k a month and then also i'm gonna get to 20k a month 30k a month i do have a plan for that and i highly encourage you once you you know have the goal of say getting to 10k a month you really build a plan on how to get to 20k a month or 30k and so on but like really looking that this is 10k this is 20k it is not a lot of money when you look at it like this and there's no reason why if you do not do this you can make a few thousand dollars and even if you're actually able to you know make a few thousand dollars not even hit the 10k a month mark making that money will probably then allow you to actually start other ventures like drop shipping where before it maybe you weren't able to do drop shipping because you didn't have any money and if you want to make even more money watch this video right here it'll be here for a few seconds you want to click it right now and you will make way more money